Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you the Handel Tarot. Now, I have had this deck for years, I'll be honest with you, and I haven't used it yet because it's so, to me, it's very, very complex, and I'm hoping going through it with you will, um, you know, maybe take away some of my trepidation. If you all have used this deck, can you please let me know and um, and in the comment section and let me know what your experience with it is. So let's take a look. I even bought two um, extra books, volume one and volume two, of that are about this. This is how complex this deck is. The first volume is about the major arcana and the second volume is about the minor arcana. So let's look at the um, deck real quick and see so it comes in a flip top box it's published by u.s game systems inc um this is what the front says complete with instructions the 56 minor arcana cards consist of four suits that relate to different elements and cultures swords represent air south and egypt wands are fire the east and india cups are water the north and europe and stones are earth the west and america so already we have suits that are not only um, elements air, earth, fire, and water, but we also have directions that go with each suit and um, countries that go with each suit, or cultures, rather. All right, so this is the back of the box. I don't see a price, so honestly, I'm not sure how much it was. I know it's still out there and available. A lot of people use it. Let's see. It says, um, the tarot pack by Herman, Herman Heindl, Heindl, sorry, Handel, draws upon many esoteric and religious traditions, particularly Native American, the Holy Grail, the I Ching, Kabbalah, and the Runes. The 22 major arcana cards are rich in detail and symbolism. And I know that's the truth. All right, so if you just get um, this box set, and I don't know if it comes in any other uh, type of box set. This is the only one I've seen. All right, and it comes with the little white book, typical little white book. Um, excuse me, let me adjust my camera there. Yeah, sorry about that shake. All right, and then um, we have Rachel. Okay, so this booklet is based on the Handel Tarot Volumes 1 and 2 by Rachel Pollock, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And um, so let's see what it says. This is copyright 1990, so it is, it's been around for a while. All right, so we have an introduction. A major arcana it talks about the major arcana for each card and this little book that comes with the deck in the box i showed you um has the number of the card the name of the card and uh the hebrew letter um which rune it is the planet it corresponds to and uh, the meaning divinatory meanings and reverse meanings so that's for all the major arcana. And then when we get to the minor arcana, we have, um, it talks about the numbered cards and then the suit of wands. And for each uh, minor arcana card, we have um, the uh, meanings and divinatory meanings and uh, upright and reverse meanings for each card. And then at the end, we have the meditation or meditation with the tarot, and we have a spread, the Hagel spread, or um, that is the name of a rune, the Hailstone spread, so that has 10 cards in it. All right, and it's also called Hagalaz, is that um, rune. All right, and then we have a list of tarot decks, um, Cardomancy and Games, and by U.S. Game Systems. So that's the little white book that comes with it now. That little white book, again, is taken from the two-volume set by Rachel Pollock. And I'm just going to show you this. I got these at Half Price Books, and these have been used so much, they're, they're actually, I mean, falling apart. And I bought them because I knew if I didn't get them when I saw them, they wouldn't be there again. And I've only seen them once in my life, and when I saw them, I bought them. So, um, anyway, I'm, they're going to need some little bit of repair here, but let's quickly take a look at the at the book. So this one is um, published by Newcastle Publishing in 1990. Again, it's by uh, Rachel Pollock. And this book is um, was originally written in 1988. So we have a foreword 
author's preface and the forwards by Angelus Arian, who is also very famous in the tarot world. Um, we have the author's preface and we have introduction to the major arcana. And it's a good long introduction. And then for each card, we have a picture, a half page picture of the card in black and white. And then we have the description and um, one, two, three, and several pages for each card, which is why um, the major arcana, and it talks about um, the Hebrew letter, uh, um, the rune, and the archetypes, the fairy tales it goes with, and so on. It's very, very in-depth. And I'm going to, well, I'll do a one-card reading at the end, but I'll do it with a little white book because this would take us a long, long time to read. But I have to tell you, if you're interested in in-depth, this is for you. All right, and then it has a section with divinatory meanings, upright and reversed. So we could actually um, read from the book just the divinatory meanings, upright and reversed. Maybe we'll do that. So you can get a, an idea of how this book is written. And it goes to each card, has, again, uh, a name, uh, the half-page picture, and then a description, and then uh, several pages. This is all the strength card. And then we have divinatory upright and reversed. All right, so this goes through all the major arcana. And then we have a spreads at the end. So I love this. There is a, a chart here, um, the number of the card, the card name, the Hebrew letter, the rune word, the astrological sign, and the element that it goes with. So that's pretty nice. That makes it a little more simple. And then it talks about readings, and it gives you how to do readings, and then it gives you spreads. So we have three card spreads and other spreads. Um, and then they give you, you know, examples and explanations of the spreads. It, it goes through the Celtic cross spread, again, which is great. And this work cycle spread. So then with the haggle spread. And there are some others here. And then there's a meditation. Or meditation with the tarot talks about that. There's the epilogue. The Handel's Harrow is the mirror of a life story. So I'll be honest with you, I have not read these books yet. Um, like I said, this book, this deck was a little intimidating to me. Hopefully it won't be to you. Of course, that was, you know, a while back when I was first getting into tarot. So maybe I can tackle it now. Painter's Notes and Acknowledgements. And... Herman Handel, I want to decor. I want to dedicate the Handel Tarot to my wife Erica. As these cards are being published and find their way to the public, she and I will have been living together for 33 years. So good for him, and um, that's nice. And then we have that is the book. So again, my book is falling apart and it needs some repair. So the second book of the Handel Tarot is Volume Two, which is the Minor Arcana. So uh, this is again published in 1990, but originally uh, copyrighted 1988. So we have a table of contents, a forward, forward again by Angelus Arian, uh, author's preface, the numbered cards, and then, which are the, of course the minor arcana, introduction to the minor arcana numbered cards. And then we have the suit of wands. So it talks about the suit of wands again. And then we have the ace of wands. There's a picture, um, divinatory meanings, or description, big long description, and divinatory meanings. So, and a reverse meanings. So the one, let's see. So one, two, so two and a half, three pages for each minor arcana. So I want to see if they go through the... Um, court cards as well. So we got three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and then they go to cups. So they go ace through ten for each suit, like that. And instead of pentacles, they're called stones. And then we have, um, here is numbered cards. So for each, 
So we have wands, cups, swords, stones. And for each one, they have the title of the card, um, the I Ching hexagram that it corresponds to, and then we have um, a column called Wilhelm and a column called Wing. And honestly, I am not, I don't know what that means. So I did not, uh, I don't know. Um, but I will find out if you know, leave it in the cart in the um, comment section. I'm sure it tells in the book, but honestly, I haven't read the book, so I don't know. Okay, introduction to the Minor Arcana Court Cards. Okay, so very good. So then we have the Wands and India. Okay, so then for each person from... The Mother of Wands is Kali, which makes sense. She would be the Queen. Uh, the Father of Wands, Brahma, which would be the King of, the, of Wands. The Daughter of Wands would be Radha. And she uh, is going to be the page. And the son of wands, Krishna, is going to be the knight. All right, this is interesting. And then for cups, we go to Europe. And the mother of cups is the Venus of Willendorf. That's interesting. Uh, the father of cups is Odin. The Daughter of Cups is Bridget of Ireland. And the Son of Cups is Parsifal. And then we go on to Swords, which is Egypt. So the um, Mother of Swords is Newt. The Father of Swords is Ra. The Daughter of Swords is Isis. And the Son of Swords is... Um, I missed it. The Son of Swords is Osiris. And then we have uh, America, the Suit of Stones. Mother of Stones is Spider Woman. The Father of Stones is Old Man. The Daughter of Stones is White Buffalo Woman. And the Son of Stones is Chief Seattle. All right, so then we go to the court cards, and it tells you who, who is on the image for each suit, the handle structure of the mother, father. Which, so it's a mother is equal, and the, the handle structure is mother, father, daughter, son, and the European structure is queen, king, princess, prince. All right, so this, um, or queen, king, page, knight. So, and then it talks about readings. In the back, so I'm guessing there's going to be some more spreads. Yes, so we have three card spreads again. We have the Celtic Cross. And this part may be the same as in the other book. Again, we have um, more debt, more card spreads, and then meditation. All right, so, and in the back there's several pages for whatever you want to use them for. So those are the guidebooks, the three guidebooks. Let's take a look at the cards. All right, so this is what the back looks like. This is a very intriguing deck to me. That's very cool. The cardstock is fairly thin. Um, I'd say it's thin, and but and it's glossy, glossy, and um, they give you some blank cards in this deck. It's funny because there's two blank cards, and the one the deck I just did, which was the um, Power Animal deck, also had it had nine blank cards in it. All right, so let's take a look. So we have the Fool, and some of the cards do have different meanings. So on each card we have got a black border, a little a white border. There is an astrological symbol. There is a rune, and there is a uh, Hebrew letter on each one. All right, so that is, you know, I'm kind of really liking this. I'm glad I did this review because before I was intimidated, now I'm intrigued. Okay, I hope you are too. All right, so we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, and each, um, I said that wrong when I said earlier about the border. There is a black, uh, like a, 
gray border around it with a black line and then there's a colored line in the middle so each card has again the number of the card the hebrew letter the rune and the um, astrological symbol okay the hierophant the lovers the chariot strength hold on and this is about the same size as my uh regular tarot deck is maybe uh, a, like a fourth of an inch longer the hermit the wheel of fortune justice i skipped the hanging man these are not st sticking together that's me sorry the hanged man death Alchemy, the devil, that is a super interesting devil card, and it's a goat, but in real life, goat pupils are horizontal, and these goat pupils are like a snake pupils. <laughs> okay, um, the tower, the star, the moon. The sun, eon, which is uh, judgment, and the universe, which is the world. Okay, then we have, now we have the suit of wands. So ace of wands in the east, two of wands, dominion, three of wands, virtue. So it has a key word at the bottom for each um Oh, this is interesting. So for each of the minor arcana cards, we again, we still have the same uh, gray border, but we have the number of the card at the top, not in Roman numerals. We have the I Ching hexagram, and then, um, isn't that interesting? And then we have the title of the card, a keyword, and then um, the name of the card, Four of Wands. Ha, huh, very good. Okay, uh, Five of Wands, Conflict. Six of Wands, Victory. Seven of Wands, Courage. Eight of Wands, Swiftness. Nine of Wands, Power. Ten of Wands, Oppression. Uh, Daughter of Wands, again, this is India. Princess of Wands is uh, Daughter of Wands in the East is Radha. And the name of the character is at the top. Then we have Daughter of Wands in the East. So it, it has the title of the card and... Um, the direction it goes with and then princess of wands the name of you know the name of the card actually okay so we have krishna the son of wands in the east kali mother of wands in the east and brahma father of wands in the east and we have the suit of cups ace of cups in the north love which is the two of cups Overflowing, the Three of Cups. Uh, mixed Happiness, the Four of Cups. Disappointment, the Five of Cups. Happiness, Six of Cups. Illusions of Success, Seven of Cups. Failure, Eight of Cups. Fortune, Nine of Cups. Success, Ten of Cups. Um, Daughter of Cups in the North is Bridget of Ireland. Son of Cups in the North, Parsifal. Mother of Cups in the North, Venus of Willendorf. Father of Cups in the North, Odin. We have Ace of Swords in the South. Peace is the Two of Swords. Mourning, the Three of Swords. Mourning, M-O-U-R-N, ing. Truce, the Four, four of Swords. Defeat, the Five of Swords. Science, the Six of Swords. Uselessness, the Seven of Swords. Interference, the Eight of Swords. Cruelty, the Nine of Swords. Ruin, the Ten of Swords. Daughter of Swords in the South is Isis. Son of Swords in the South is Osiris. Mother of Swords in the South is Newt. And Father of Swords in the South is Ra. And then we have the suit of stones or pentacles, ace of stones in the west. Harmony is the two of stones. Work is the three of stones. 
uh, the Power of Earth, the Four of Stones, Material Difficulty, the Five of Stones, Success, the Six of Stones, Failure, the Seven of Stones, Knowledge, the Eight of Stones, Material Gain, the Nine of Stones, Richness, the Ten of Stones. Then we have the Daughter of Stones is White Buffalo Woman, Son of Stones Prince is um, Chief Seattle, Mother of Stones is Spider Woman, and Father of Stones is Old Man. Now, there's something um, that I noticed. These are kind of, I mean, I never noticed this before, but the Minor Arcana are pretty much pip cards. Now, and I didn't notice it and because the the artwork is so rich, I they are pip cards, but it's there's so much symbolism in them that you know what I didn't even notice that. But yes, they are pip cards. Um, they do have interesting differing backgrounds though as well. Okay, so let's say see how they shuffle. And then we'll I'll do give you a one card reading from the little white book. I'm not going to go through the um, Rachel Pollock books and read because they're really long. And also because my camera is yeah, starting to overheat. So if this cuts out, hopefully it doesn't. But if it does, I want to thank you for watching ahead of time. So thank you for watching. Okay, so let's see how it shuffles. It shuffles very nicely. They don't stick together. Good. Okay, so Spirit, what message do you have for the... Oh, there we go. The Ace of Swords in the South. And I'm going to look up here. And you know what? I got the Ace of Swords earlier, so this may be for me. Okay, so let's see what Ace of Swords says. The sword points down the descent of sacred light into nature. The beginnings of green plants top the hill. The stirred up waves are the potential for life meeting active force. Divinatory meanings, intelligence, clear thinking, powerful personality or emotions, and reversed anger, aggression, distorted thinking. Okay, so this is not reversed. So our meaning uh, involves, you might be having something uh, to do with intelligence. Okay, intelligence may be playing an important part in your life right now, as well as clear thinking. So you may gain clarity on something. Um, and then uh, you might meet someone with a powerful per personality or powerful emotions, and you may be feeling powerful emotions too, which is kind of interesting because I always equate emotions with cups, but um, that is what it says here for the um, Ace of Swords. All right, friends, that was a long one. I know it was. I appreciate your watching. It was my review of the Handel Tarot and the um, Rachel Pollock books about the Handel Tarot, Volume 1, the Major Arcana, and Volume 2, the Minor Arcana, and um, we have the Tarot itself. Lots and lots of symbolism and imagery that is just out of this world. So friends, if you, um, if, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider please consider doing so. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.